In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to install and set up a monitor guard um, on a Ubuntu box. Now, the WireGuard 101. So what is WireGuard? Well, WireGuard is a free and open source application and communication protocol that implements virtual private network VPN techniques to create um, secure point-to-point -point connection in routed or bridged configurations. It was um, created by Jason A. Donfield. It has around um, 4,000 lines of code. When you compare that with OpenVPN, which has over 100 lines of code, it's very um, simplified and way easier to uh, modify and work with than most other VPN frameworks. We're done in um, C, so because um, Linux has used that, OpenBSN, and um, um, as well as Go. Why <clears throat> our protocols? Um, Curve 25519, which is for key exchange. CHA20 Cha is for encryption. Poly1305 is for data authentication. Um, SIP hash is for hash both keys. Blake 2S is for hashing, and it also is a UDP, UDP based only protocol. WireGuard 101, how it works? Well, WireGuard uses UDP to transmit at the encrypted IP packets. Now, the ports can be freely um, selected from high port range. If no port is selected, WireGuard um, starts at 51820 UDP. Now, crypto key routing, the public keys are combined with a list of allowed IP addresses. Now, if, if, if the association is um, successful, the packets or allowed to pass through the VPN tunnel. Now, the properties of public exchange keys um, is uh, each peer has its own private and public key. Now, it's used to authenticate to the peers to each other. Now, have a similar function principle to SSH public keys. Now, typical WireGuard um, server configuration, the entity point for interfaces created, several peers are associated with this one interface. Now, Clients, so let's say road warrior devices, often have only one interface entry and one peer, the WireGuard server. So traffic routing via allowed IP, uh, IPs. WireGuard is 0.0.0.0 slash .0, .0, 0. Now this automatically encrypts any packet and sends it through the VPN tunnel. Now multiple um, um, specification of IP addresses or so network addresses with a um, subnet mask separated by a comma. Traffic is only sent through the tunnel for those um, allowed IP address. Now, the properties of a allowed IP address is that in sending um, direction, the list this list behaves like a routing table. In receiving direction, it serves as access control list. That's just the overall summary. Uh, now we will um, start by actually doing a demonstration on the process of um, and. Um, Installing WireGuard and setting it up and initiating a connection on a local computer to the VPN server. Okay, so I'm going to update um, the VPN server that I'm connected to right now. Um, sudo app update and um, app upgrade. And we'll put a yes flag on it. So say yes to every prompt that comes up besides the UI prompts that may come up. Okay, I'm going to add another VPN server. I mean a new um, SSH shell so I can do some other stuff at the same time. I'm going to do going to change this configure fi file. I'm going to enable IP forwarding. Okay, I'm going to go down and I'm going to uncomment the IP forwarding portion. I'm going to save. Okay, I'm gonna go with the prompt, I'm gonna put yes. Okay, I'm gonna go back over here. Try to install uncomplicated firewall. Oh wait, I forgot, I'm updating right now, so it's not gonna allow me to do that until that um, finishes. Okay, 
install the container. Continue, wait for it to finish. Okay, I'm gonna install the accompanying firmware while it's already installed. I did this update. Okay, I'm gonna allow SSH. I'm going to allow, it's gonna be port 51820 on UDP. That's what the WireGuard um, is gonna be listening on. Okay, I'm going to enable the firewall now. Okay, I'm going to check the status just real quick. Okay, that will tell you exactly what ports are open and allowing communication on. Okay, I'm installing WireGuard now. Okay, once you install WireGuard, I'm um, going to um, change the permissions um, so it can be 077. Um, going to generate public and private keys. Um, this will allow to ensure um, secure communication both ways. So because each party is going to have to have their private and public keys that each pair enables a one-way messaging. And this command is going to be the thing that's going to generate those keys. Okay, once we generate that information, um, we're going to start configuring the WireGuard server, which um, requires us to um, have config files that are stored in the WireGuard folder. Um, I'm going to I'm gonna name mine wg0. Um, config. And this um, configuration here is, is going to allow us to um, make the WireGuard server accept connections to 51820 and allow a client with the public key um, corresponding to that private key and it will allow um, communication to go through. I'm gonna put some lines here in a second. I'm gonna add um, the um, private key for the server here, as you can see. Okay, I'm gonna check really fast that it's up and running. So when you get this, um, if you get this, you can actually just check the status of it. Um, just put sudo w, just wg, and it's yep. It'll give you the status of the wire guard on the in the in on the box. Okay, now I'm going to um, create an empty tunnel on the local Windows computer. Okay, I just copied from the one on the box. I'm going to actually delete some of these lines. The first two lines I'm going to delete is the post up and post down. Because now I want to be trying to communicate with that server up, so it doesn't make any sense. Okay, I'm going to check to a new one. This is going to be a peer. I'm going to add another one up above too. I'm going to put the interface one up there. And... Okay, 
Now, this is a um, a long process of doing the wireguard server like manually. There's a lot of um, repos on uh, GitHub that actually will um, speed most of this um, manual stuff for you, which I will um, add um, links in this in the um, description of this video. But this just show you like the normal process of just doing by it how the creator set it up in the first place. Okay, the endpoint endpoint is going to be the IP address of that server. Um, v, so this one is in, in the cloud somewhere. Okay, and for the firewall, I'm not using the cloud firewall that I'm using. I allowed all ports to be open on the cloud, but then I enabled the firewall on the box itself. Just to show you what the process is. Now, if you're using AWS or Azure, you can have the firewall do all that um, configuration for you instead of enabling um, uncomplicated firewall in the Ubuntu server. Okay, I'm going to allow all P, um, IP, so any any IP a, a address out there will be able to con connect to this uh, VPN server. Okay, I'm gonna save that. Okay, I'm gonna activate. And voila, it's connected. Okay, first I'm gonna check if I am getting that IP address now. It's on, so I'm going to go to command line and I'm going to IF config, I mean IP config myself and see what IP address I am now exactly that. So it worked. And that concludes this video.